What's up guys? My name is Jessica Reed. If you're new here to my channel and I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. I want to keep this intro really short but this video is going to be a DIY room decor video that is Tumblr inspired for the summertime. And real quick before we get into the video, I'm actually having a giveaway right now. So I want to give away a pair of Beats headphones to one of you guys and if you would like to win these then all you have to do is just subscribe to my channel and then also be sure to turn on my post notifications which is that little bell button that's right next to the subscribe button. And also so make sure you're following me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll have them on the screen right here. And yeah, I'll be picking one of you guys to win these. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, be sure to give me a thumbs up because your thumbs up make me so incredibly happy and they help out my channel so much. So give me a thumbs up on this video. Comment down below when you enter the giveaway. And let's just go ahead and get right on into it. So for this first DIY, I'm going to show you guys how I made this succulent terrarium and I love how it turned out. It is so beautiful and it's so easy to make too. So for this DIY, you're going to need a glass bowl and I got mine at the craft store. You're also going to need some potting soil and of course succulents. I got all of my succulents from Lowe's and Home Depot and I even got a cute little cactus too. Now this is definitely optional, but I would highly recommend you find some cute little pebbles or stones at the craft store or if you just have any laying around your house. I feel like this just adds the best touch and it makes the terrarium look so much nicer and I even found a little geode at Home Goods for about $10, which I love. And for the rest of this DIY, it's really easy and simple and you can get as creative as you want. So I just added in my potting soil and I filled my bowl up about halfway because if you add too much soil, this can definitely get very messy. And from there, all I did was started to add in my succulents and my little cactus and be very careful if you get a cactus because it can definitely poke you. This one, thank goodness, was not spiky and all pokey and jaggy. So that was a plus, but I just organized my little succulents into my bowl the way that I liked it and then I also added more dirt in to fill any of the empty gaps and finally I finished it off by adding in all of my little pebbles and my gem rocks that I found on vacation in like North Carolina probably like five years ago and I also have my little geode in there and I also wanted to show you guys this little bonus DIY because I think it turned out so cute so I found this amethyst geode at home goods for about $15 and it's originally for a candle but I thought instead of putting a candle in the cutout that I would add a cute little succulent and I think it turned out so adorable. So I love both of these DIYs. I think they're absolutely beautiful and they're great for the summertime. They're so much fun to make and be sure to let me know what you guys think of them in the comments below because I love these DIYs and I figured that you probably would too. For DIY number two, I'm going to show you how I made this flower hanging wall and it actually turned out so much better than I thought it would. I love it and it's so easy to do. So I got this flower garland at the craft store and it was actually 50% off. So each individual garland was $8 each instead of $16, which in the long run, I could not even make this garland for $8 by buying fake flowers. So this was a much easier route to go rather than taking twine and gluing a bunch of fake flowers on and in the long run it would have been more expensive anyways so I found this garland definitely check out your craft store because they'll probably have sales and you can also use coupons to save money and for this you're also going to need some fake flowers if you want to add any additional on and some wire or you could definitely use a hot glue gun too but I actually prefer using the wire because when you do this you can add your flowers on and then if you ever want to take any of them off in the future and switch them out with different flowers you can totally do that and they are not like hot glued on if you feel me here so from here I just used my wire and I actually used ornament hooks for my Christmas decorations because I didn't have any other wire and it worked perfectly awesome because the wire is already pre-cut so if you guys want to do that you can totally go for that too and I just wrapped all of my flowers around the garland with my wire it's so easy and simple it is a little bit time consuming but the final finished product is amazing and this will be so much fun to do with your friends in the summertime and you could even have a cute photo shoot in your room behind this flower wall which I think would be awesome. 
final DIY, I am titling it Creative Wall Art because I want you guys to be as creative as you can when it comes to this DIY and just do whatever you want that goes with your bedroom. I have these shadow boxes hanging up on my wall and they had some photos of my family in them and I absolutely love them but I just wanted to switch it up a little bit so I found some large cardstock at the craft store for about 90 cents each, super inexpensive, and I took my frames and traced around my frames and then just cut out the cardstock with a pair of scissors and you definitely don't have to have shadow boxes for this DIY by any means you can use some picture frames that you already have in your room so next up I took some acrylic paint and paint brushes which I already had and I tried to do paint colors that would go with the theme and the color scheme of my room so I did pink and blue and gold and white and now is the fun part where you get to be creative and I really liked using paint brushes for this rather than a sponge because I love the texture that the paintbrush gives this wall art and I don't know I like how mine turned out it's different for me like I've never done any DIY like this before so I had a lot of fun doing it and I also took this really cool stencil that I had and I used some gold paint and just filled that in with a sponge brush and I think that added a really cool touch and I also used some smaller little stencils too but I thought I would just speed up this footage so you guys can kind of see how I made mine and like I said you can be creative and do whatever you want with your DIY and I would love to see your pictures so please be sure to tweet me pictures or Instagram me and tag me in your photos because I would love to see all of your DIY recreations because I think that would be so awesome but these are the finished DIY shadow box frames and they were so inexpensive to make and I think they turned out super cool So you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're still watching right now, comment down below Summer Vibes. That way I know. And I love you guys so, so much. Just know that God loves you too. You all are beautiful, special, wonderful, amazing, and unique in your own way. Never forget that. And I love you guys so much. And I will see you all in my next video that's coming very soon. Bye, guys.